My name is Mustafa Talhagil and this is my graduation project about solar systems. I am a fourth grade electrical engineering student in Kocaeli University and I am using Regiosite from Schneider for my project. Uh, my process is mid pasteurization. I create it. After creating it, I just need to define servers from communications folder. Defining is easy actually, I just named them. An example, my cluster name is Pasta. After that, my alarm server name is Pasta Alarm Server. Same for time server. Uh, different from these, I just use Express IO device setup for IO device. Uh, I'm not gonna set up it right now, but I already did it. After defining servers are completed, I need to define tags. Those are my tags. Uh, I have 19 tags. First one just for test. Other one I use in my project. An example, this one is uh, silo tanks level indicator controller process value. Uh, I need to choose cluster name and I device name. There is only one for both of them. And I must give them an address data type 2 these are other data types for this one it's integer and I use digital 2 uh, these are my scales and this is engineered Linux for this it's liter there's so many actually uh, there's IPM degree and after defining text completed I need to create a page for my graphical interface and this one is it. Actually this one is my main main visual. Now I will introduce the units. This is a silo tank and it's agitator where the milk is stored and mix it. Uh, this is a slider for changing milk quantity by hand and these arrows doing the same thing too uh, this is an indicator for showing milk quantity and I define those buttons for controlling agitator uh, I will show these when I set the system run after those this text taking inputs from agitator from here when it's on, it will write like that. I have three defined flows in here. Uh, when it's off, its color will be red. And when it's on, its color will be green. After that, I have a balance tank in here. I can change the value of balance tank with the slider or this arrows. This is an indicator for balance tank. I have a feed pump in here and its button. This button defined as toggle button. I will show it to you. This is a centrifuge tank. I take it from already defined symbols in here. There are so many symbols actually. But if you want to import another visuals, we can do this too. Uh, this is my ovens. In every 20 degree, it will change colors. All four of them. An example, this is taking inputs from pipe 1's temperature. And it's show it this temperature to us. This is an alpha tank. And it's agitator. There is a button for it same way it's a toggle button this one is a different type of indicator it's an already defined function actually i imported from this one uh, this is my coil and this is the homogenizer tank in this graphical interface i can customize every unit by pressing properties section in this section i can define 
color chains or moments animation an example in this oven I define an input this function for if I click the oven trends pop-up page will be open another example this is my wall this one has the same function but different page wall page this is an agitator this one defined as a animated moment if agitator is in off mode this picture will be shown but it's in on mode these four pictures will periodically show now I put my system in run mode and I will explain how the system works I have these two buttons for controlling agitator when I press on it will turn on and this text will change when I press off it will turn off and this text will slow agitator off I have the slider and arrows for controlling quantity of slow tank as you can see it's changing after that I have this wall I already defined a pop-up page for it and I create this page when I press on it will turn on and this green light will open I have same slider and arrows for this tank too it will change this volume and we got this feed pump button this button defined as a toggle button when I press once it will turn off when I press twice it will turn on after that I got ovens in here as you can see the values are changing randomly and the colors uh, they are changing randomly because we don't have any PLC to controlling this units so I just define events randomly I got this Alphast tank and it has same toggle button here when I press once it will turn on when I press twice it will turn off now I will explain events we are using events for animating this page we are defining it from this system folder events in here we have two types of events one of them uh, working periodically with time in every five seconds in example other one has a trigger from another units output so I will explain this function this function means uh, equalize the pipe bonds pipe bonds temperature to zero and add a number around zero to four on it after that wait for two seconds don't do anything and then close the cooling valve another event this one same to uh, equalize pipe 2's temperature to 25 and add a number around 0 to 20 on it we can see it in here an example it's now 43 now it will change around 7 seconds now it's 39 is it 7 seconds yes it's 7 seconds we have same things to pipe 3 and pipe 4 this is holding to this one is a cooling valve it taking trigger from same cooling valve it's a toggle function actually it will change it will close and open in every five seconds this event take an input from another unit if pipe one's temperature more than three silo tanks agitator will run and another event if pipe one's temperature less than two agitator silo tanks agitator will stop let's see this 
Pipe temperature. I write port, and now silo tanks agitator is working, and I write zero. Now it stopped. It's working like that. Now I will explain trends. We are using trends for uh, tag values, graphical displays. But first we need to define trend text from this text folder and trend text. I define it for pipe 1, 2, 3, 4, holding tube temperature and cooling valve temperature. We need to define a few things too, cluster name, expression, this is our main text, as you can see, sample period, and we need to create a file for it. It's like that. Let's see how it works. I define a pop-up trend page for it, because I believe it's user-friendly. I like trends. Uh, as you can see, we can see all the values in here. It's easier with these. Black one is holding tip, blue one is pipe one, green one is pipe three, brown is pipe two, and blue one is pipe one. It's like that. Now I will explain alarms. Uh, we are getting feedbacks from system when our defined specific situations occurs. And we are defining these situations from alarm folder. In this project I only use digital, analog and advanced alarms. Before that I created alarm categories. My first category is advanced alarms. Second one is digital alarms, and third one is analog alarms. <coughs> now digital alarms. Uh, this alarm work like if silo tanks agitator is not working, notify me. It's just that simple. Before that, we need to define cluster name, pasta, and alarm name, silo mixer off, and uh, alarm description. This is not a must actually, and we define a category in here too. After that, we have alphas, alarm tag, cluster name. Uh, this alarm taken input from two units. One of them, agitator, alphas tanks agitator is working, and feed pump is not working. Notify me. It's just that simple. After that, we have analog alarms. This is more customizable, actually. Uh, alarm tag, HTA, holding tube, alarm, alarm name, my tag, holding tube. And we define uh, variables in here. If temperature is higher than 85, give me an alarm high high and if it's more than 80 it's high alarm less than 65 it's a low alarm and less than 60 is then low low alarm and this is my analog alarm I have only one actually and advanced alarms in this alarm uh, alarm tag P1A, alarm description, this means that if pipe 1's temperature is more than 3, give me an alarm, and this alarm is pipe 1 temperature more than 3. And another alarm, uh, this is if pipe 4's temperature is less than 72, Give me a notify. Now, if you want to dis display our alarms, we need to go here 
in alarm section we got active alarms those are currently active and alarm summary this is all my alarms and disabled alarms uh, for disabling an alarm first I need to log in and I can disable them or set them to acknowledge now it's disabled I can enable it there we can use our alarms as an input in here an example this one uh, there's conditions A condition and B condition A is uh, holding tube alarm is high or holding tube alarm is high high mode it's an A condition or uh, I have B condition holding tube alarm low or holding tube alarm low low conditions if these conditions if none of them is m working it's a normal temp temperature it will write like that if only A is working it will say high temperature if only B low temperature and if both of them is working it's a system error and we can define a color change none of them is working it's a black color if only A is working it will flash red and black if only B it will flash yellow and black and both of them is working is a red color system error now I will explain reports we are using report store uh, when we are getting alarms sometimes we, wa we want to store them in our hard drive as a text document or a excel document and things like that we use reports and we are defining reports from here in system folder reports I define a pasta report name and a cluster name and my report format file is pasta rtp we can edit this file like that uh, we have time and date after that we use cycles it's similar to C if wall hot water equals to one then print hot water valve is open else print hot water valve is close it's just that simple and for displaying these reports we need to go my main graphical interface and run this system I already define a report section for usage I will show it to you okay this one normally there is no report section in here but I define it as an administrator I said take reports there is report completed after that I said report display as you can see this is the document where I edit report and I define these arrows for simple usage so you see hot water roll close hot water roll open sorry close close it's mostly close actually there's one hot water roll open it's like that and this document created in my program files here sorry here it's the same document with this document I can store all my reports 
in my hard disk. Thank you.